Ladies and gentlemen, the most overpowered, the most overused, the most popular build in NBA 2K20 just got 10 times better. Yes, I'm talking about a two-way slashing playmaker. We've all seen him. We've all played against him. But specifically, my Russell Westbrook build. Now, you guys know my two-way slashing playmaker. I made him a little bit different because I wanted it to resemble Russell Westbrook. And that's exactly what we have today. 99.9 .9 overall legend Russell Westbrook. Drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Let's get right into this legend Russell Westbrook build. All right, y'all. So first, let's look at the attributes because I want to remind you of how I made mine, okay? So obviously, you see, I mean, the, the inside scoring is there. It's Westbrook, 92 driving dunk, all that. Now, the one thing about, you know, the shooting is a little too high for Westbrook, but this is 2K20. We want to have a really good build, 74 three-pointer. Combine that with the amount of shooting badges I have now, it is absolutely lethal, okay? Now, moving on. Now, the free throw is probably a little bit too high, too, for Westbrook, if, if we're being completely honest, but it's a free throw. It's 2K who really cares playmaking i mean you see good passing good ball handling obviously now the defense is high but the way i made my build remember is instead of upgrading the steel all the way i upgraded my rebounding all the way which cost me two defensive badges but i wanted to do that because i wanted to be westbrook and honestly i'd rather have a high rebounding than a high steal in this game now as you can see the badges are looking insane seven gold badges 21 upgrades seven gold badges i mean there's literally no other finishing badges you could even want on this build you're not going to be posting up on them so you don't need those you want all the slashing layup dunking badges and we have them all now we have 20 shooting badges on this two-way slashing playmaker which is nuts i mean quick draw range extender hot zone dead eye green machine volume shooter and then a couple bronze badges there it's i mean we're talking about basically a playmaking lockdown with 20 shooting badges this it's insane what it can do and i got don't worry we got gameplay for you to show you what's up 30 playmaking badges we got everything you know everything we could want maybe maybe you'd rather have hall of fame unpluckable instead of needle threader you know you could switch it around but this is just what i'm rocking with right now um i mean but 30 playmaking badges insane i mean you got all the passing and dribbling badges you could ever want really is and last but not least, 28 defending badges. Tw defending and rebounding, of course. As you can see, obviously, Intimidator, Clamps, Pogo Stick, Tireless Defender. But here's where it gets interesting. Combined with my maxed out rebounding of like a 93, we have Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and Hall of Fame Worm. Now, it just makes sense for me. One, I love to be able to snag when my teammates miss. But especially as an ISO player, when I kick to the corner, I want to get the board. Even if I'm getting boxed out. I got Hall of Fame Worm. I'm swimming right around that box out, grabbing the rebound. And then we got four bronze badges on, of course. Now, one thing, like I said, if I had maxed out my steal instead of my rebounding, I would have had 30 defending badges, which would have gave me 101 badge upgrades on this build. But honestly, I would rather have the maxed out rebounding. Like I said, I sacrificed the two badges. Plus, it's Russell Westbrook. We got to have maxed out rebounding. I mean, the dude averaged a triple double three straight seasons. We got to have the maxed out rebounding. So this is my two-way slashing playmaker. My legend, Russell Westbrook build. Ridiculous build, man. Let's get right into some gameplay. Like I said, make sure y'all drop a like if you haven't already. That really helps me out. Takes you two seconds. Costs you nothing. Let's get right into it. So the first gameplay I have for you, I'm going to start it off midway through because the beginning of the game was a little bit boring. But as you can see, we're up nine to two. But this is just a perfect two minute summary of what this build is all about especially now at legend now even without being at legend i mean you've seen so many people use this build the, the one that really stands out to me is la monster i mean you saw him play wagers with it and i mean he was greening up like crazy and that was without being a legend now being a legend with 20 shooting badges combined with that 74 three-pointer it is insane what this build is capable of typically people will see a two-way slash and playmaker and be like all right play back make him shoot once he proves he can shoot we'll play up but now with 20 shooting badges the consistency game in and game out is ridiculous now we get a little unlucky turnover there but i'm not going to edit anything out because we get the ball right back and, and i just want you to show like it's not like i'm editing out misses and stuff this is back to back to back to back just raining threes just showing what this build really is all about especially at legend i mean blow by animation drive in easy kick out it gets deflected kind of unlucky but look it pop out catch pull green and this is this isn't just one off like 
it's ridiculous what this build is capable of even without the 40 extra badges we've all not all of us have agreed but uh, most of the community has agreed i mean the two-way slashing playmaker this year is just insane this dude's spamming me like crazy but here's where the build is just super op even though he's uptight spamming me eventually i can use my speed and obviously the slash and take get the blow by and just get a contact dunk on him on top of that you just saw me green like five shots in a row on top of that hall of fame defensive badges i'm a lockdown that has 90 rebounding and on top of that, I guess speed boost and, and have all the playmaking badges. It's just such a well-rounded build. It almost feels unfair to play on it. I mean, it's like a speed boosting, sharpshooting, slashing lockdown. That's six foot five, can rebound with the best of them. It's insane. Now, like I said, this is my Westbrook build. So if I was comparing it to Westbrook in real life, first of all, shout out to Ru shout out to Russ. He has been playing great and to all the haters out there that have been saying oh but he's just he's a he's just a, a chuck like he's just a guy that is a volume shooter shoots a low percentage well recently the dude's been shooting like 55 percent from the field he lowered his three-point attempts which i think is a good idea because as i said this build uh the one thing about it is it's way too good and consistent of a shooter to be compared to westbrook but outside of that it's the perfect westbrook build but to make a point guard build that can't shoot at all in this game would just kind of be stupid so i'm um, listen 74 three-pointer 20 shooting badges it's a legend build what do you want me to do it, it it's it's a godlike build okay and it, it it is very similar to westbrook but back to what i was saying the the haters always talking about his efficiency well guess what he's been efficient he lowered the three-point attempts which is a good idea because he's not a great three-point shooter shoot it occasionally you know make him respect it but for the most part do what you do best and he's been doing just that so he deserves a ton of credit the rockets have been playing good i know they lost by like 15 to the clippers the other night but for the most part they've been ever since they went small ball they've been causing teams a lot of problems of course it's regular season teams are going to have the off night occasionally but for the most part rockets have been looking dangerous so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the postseason obviously you know we've seen teams go small before but i don't think we've ever seen teams go this small that the rockets are doing so be interesting to see what westbrook does what the rockets do and even james harden and his teammate now one thing i wanted to say in this video you see the rebounding wing that i'm running with swag listen how perfect of a pj tucker like face creation body type tattoos just the whole look in general i just wanted to point it out that pj tucker looks spot on and coming from somebody that's made nba players for nba player videos for years now and try to make them look identical at least as close as possible in terms of the build but also the appearance i appreciate when it looks spot on because listen i all the time i'll be like oh i want to do this nba player video you got the perfect build the dude will be like yes you can borrow it and i'll get on it i'm like bro he's left-handed he needs to be right-handed why did you tell me he's like oh just just do it no one will care like we don't care what hand he is i'm like well i care those small details for me are what makes the video like you know if you make an nba player video and the dude in real life has no tattoos and then you get on the you're making a video and you got an all black neck with tattoos all over your body it it doesn't look like the nba player anymore the the authenticity the attention to detail is missing and i i feel like that's what makes the videos now of course other things the gameplay the builds all that but the appearance is something that's very very important so anytime i see a spot on nba player uh in the park you know i'll try to shoot him a message be like listen that looks great i saw like a rudy gobert the other day he looks so perfect like it looked it, it almost looked like the game gave you the face scan it like i i love that type of stuff i love that attention to detail that people put in but as you can see pj tucker the best corner three-point shooter in the nba by the way and we're playing just like that in real life he's spotting up westbrook is out here rim running it's straight up houston rockets basketball baby but listen hopefully y'all enjoyed this video man i plan on playing on this build more often testing out what it could do maybe throw on the mascot see what it's like when i'm like eight feet tall and all that type of stuff maybe play some comp matchups with this build because listen this is probably the best build in the game but hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. This has been 99.9 .9 overall. Legend Russell Westbrook. I'm out. Peace.